Hi, this video is to tell you about the different strategies that should be followed in order to ease the con section of CAT. In the previous video, I talked about the rules to follow, the basic rules. So be aware of the basic rules that you need to follow while solving the section. Here we talk about the actual strategies. So we'll discuss a few strategies. The first strategy, this is a strategy I normally recommend students who start with the mock. Okay, it helps because it helps you to leave the question. It's also for students who find feel that they're really good, but they get stuck on a question. So what I recommend in the first round, don't solve any question. Just go through all the questions, right? In the first six minutes, so approximately 15 seconds per question. So if you have 22 questions, it will take you around 5.5 minutes, let's say six minutes. So just read the question and mark it as easy, medium, tough without solving it. If you start solving it, it will take longer time. So don't solve it, just read and mark. This will help you to leave, learn to leave questions quickly. This is a good strategy for people who solve less number of questions. It is also a good strategy for people who solve more questions but are finding it difficult to leave questions. Start with this strategy. Take a few more and follow this strategy. Okay. Now also understand the number of questions you mark easy it should be definitely less than the normal number of questions you normally solve. So you solve four questions. So you can't at, uh, mark six questions as easy because you may not be able to attempt so many. So that means you need to attempt less than four questions as easy. So you need to be able to finish the second round and come back to the third round. So solve all the easy questions and then come back to the medium level round. But remember when you're solving the easy questions, there is a chance that your the question is actually tough but your market easy. Learn to leave such questions. Don't get stuck up on a question. It's important. Right? So in the second round, solve the easy questions. Third round, solve the moderate level questions, whatever your mark. The problem with this strategy is that uh, uh, when people spend too much time in the first six minutes, they get stressed. Oh, six minutes are passed and I've not even solved a single question. So that is one problem. If you can manage the stress, then this strategy is really good. Uh, but I would recommend still following the strategy for a few mocks because this helps you to leave questions. Right? So it also helps you to maybe help you manage the strategy. Strategy two, I mean, it's a modification of first strategy. So if you feel that you get stressed by going to all 22 questions first, then go to half the paper. First 11 questions first solved in 3 minutes. Instead of going to 6 minutes for all 22 questions, divide the whole paper into 2 parts. 11 questions, 11 questions. So in the first uh, 3 minutes, go to the 11 question. Same strategy. Mark easy, medium, tough. Solve the easy question in the first half of the paper. Okay. Once you do that, then go to the next half of the paper. Again, mark them as easy, medium, tough. When you're marking easy, medium, tough, actually in the uh, you can't mark it on the computer. You have to take a paper and make three sections and say easy for what questions, medium what questions, tough what questions. That's what you normally do. So, and then this solve us easy questions from the second half. And once you finish that, then go to the moderate question in the next round. And that's how you try to solve this particular strategy. This will try to overcome the problem in the first strategy where you get stressed because of the first six minutes that you use for deciding on a difficult level of the question. Third strategy. First, solve only the easy questions. I mean, as in when you go to the questions, solve the easy questions. Learn to leave moderate or tough questions. Mark what questions are moderate, what questions are tough, but only solve the easy questions in the first round. That means in this, what we are doing is we are combining the first two of those previous strategies. That means we are not only going to the paper and marking as easy, medium, tough, but we are also solving the easy questions. right? Then we come back in the second round to solve moderate level questions. Okay, the problem could be that you could end up attempting too many questions in round one. Okay, because we are solving the questions, a lot of people get so engrossed in solving the question that they don't know how the time flies and they would not be able to complete a paper. Okay, also it could take a longer time to leave questions because you are trying to solve questions during the first round, you may take a longer time to leave questions. Technically, this is a good strategy for people who are solving, you know, moderate number of questions like they are solving 8, 10 round questions, then this is a good strategy to follow where you try to go to the paper and solve question as and when it comes. But if you are by chance not able to leave questions quickly or you find yourself wasting too much time on some questions, go back to the first or second strategy. Fourth strategy of people who are, tired, who are getting more than 99 percentile. Here basically try to solve all questions. As and when the question comes, try to solve. But learn to leave question if you find it time consuming or tough. So any question that you find time consuming, leave it. So the idea is the people who normally score 99 plus percentile tend to solve more of the most of the questions. There are few questions that they leave. So time left in attempting those questions which they leave will not be much. There is no harm in attempting all the questions. 
but be careful learn to leave questions as i said one of the biggest problem with students who are good in a section is they find it difficult to leave questions learn to leave question know your ego properly and leave question at a time consuming or tough okay also ensure that you are able to complete reach the last question within 30 35 minutes don't keep it for the just in time before, because if you extend time on some questions okay you may not be able to end the paper so as in when you solve you find a question tough or time consuming say i will come back to it later mark the question and come back to it later in the second round if you find it very tough learn to leave the question so these are the strategies that can be followed you will have to experiment on strategies to see what works what doesn't work okay these are strategies i said what you can start with start with the strategies keep experimenting even if you feel you're comfortable with the strategy keep experimenting so that is how you learn i mean that's how you know what happens in different strategies right uh, we'll come up with more videos that will help you with regards to preparation thank you